And welcome back to the channel. My name is Chloe Taylor, the creator of Coffee. And yes, you read the title correct. I'm not exactly sure what I'm calling it, but we know that it's Disney themed and we know that some death is gonna happen. So I'm planning for this video to be a one take. Basically, it is a overview of Kawaii Stacy's mod update survival house, which we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video. I'm just gonna be showing the entire mod to you first and kind of what goes down in game. But um, yes, there will be a lot of Disney princesses in this episode. I literally made 18 Disney characters for this or got them on the gallery and adjusted them, which there will be names down below of Sims from other people that I used as well. But um, before we jump into the video and explain anything else, I just want to give it today's shout out. And that goes to Oliver Cook. And this comment says, can I just say how beautiful of a person you are? Like, really, I know that has nothing to do with the video, but I went back to watch your princess game series and seeing the growth of positivity and enjoyment from that series to this one is astounding. I really admire the honest and real commitment you put towards putting out content that you love just as much as we do. You inspire me to work on growing as a person and bettering my mental health. Thank you. Also, I'm an Aries yet heartbroken because she was the first to die, but I'm totally rooting for Pisces as well. She's too cute. So this was in reference to my other series that's going on my channel right now, but thank you so much, Oliver. I really appreciate that. That comment literally made me cry last night. So thank you so much. I really really, really, really appreciate that. If you guys want to be a future coffee bean shout out, please leave some love and positivity down below. You can also just leave some coffee and sparkle emojis. Those count as well and make sure that you subscribe and turn notifications on. But let's go ahead and talk about this now. So apologies, my camera definitely shifted just now. <laughs> Um, but let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing here. So basically this is my sim self. She doesn't really look that much like me. I'm not going to lie to you. Like it, the hair, the boobs and like the eyes and maybe the lipstick shade. That's pretty much it. I feel like the sim looks nothing like me, but basically what we're going to be doing is showing off this mod that I downloaded. This is a Kawaii Stacy mod and you do have to have sacrificials extreme violence mod installed as well to make this work. So just make sure that you have both if you decide to do this. So we're going to go ahead and plan a social event because that is how this mod works. And I'll kind of show you and walk you through what happens. I'm kind of nervous because I know this is going to get crazy really quickly <laughs> um, because I did play with it on my own time as well. And it was terrifying. So um, I do want to say right now, if you guys are, you guys are like sensitive to violence or graphic images, even if it's like in a video game, please just click out of the video. Now, this is not a video that is for everyone. It definitely is a little bit violent. <laughs> So just letting you know now, if that's something that triggers you or you're uncomfortable with, go ahead and click out of the video now. This is not a video you're going to want to watch. So we are planning an event and we're just going to click on Survivor House as the event. And it says challenge rewards, get paid to stay in a house for 12 hours with Sims that could be possible serial killers. If you think you can survive, then go ahead and accept the challenge. We will pay those who survive. And for those who don't, may you all rest in peace. You can also make up to 2,000, 250,000 uh, by completing missions. Will your Sim be the last man standing? So we're going to go ahead and say yes. I, my Sim is going to be the, what does it say? It doesn't even say what we're supposed to be. It just, I don't know. And then questionable serial killers. So I literally either downloaded or made princesses for this to kind of see who is standing at the end. So we're just going to go ahead and invite all of them. So we have Esmeralda, Snow White, Ariel, Tinkerbell, Pocahontas, Aurora, Merida, Cinderella, Megara, Tiana, Mulan, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Rapunzel, Anna, Jasmine, Elsa, Belle, Moana. Those are all the ones that we have. So boom, we have 18 different Disney characters coming over. So we're going to go ahead and say yes, we're going to use this house. And no, I did not build this house. I will put the name of the creator down below for you guys. Uh, thank you so much. I wish I had remembered it right this second so I could tell you, uh, but I will put it down below as well. So you guys can get this house if you want to. I literally searched murder house on the gallery and this was one of the top options. So we're just going to go ahead and say done. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we're going inside. So first and foremost, before anything else happens, I want to point out to you guys, it says main mission, have 18 Sims die. Lucky choice, kill a Sim, get them out, kill eight Sims, get your hands dirty, stab someone in the guts. So I'm actually not going to control anything. And I'm just going to let this kind of play out. I'm also going to change the Sims outfits as they come over because I noticed when I played this on my own that the Sims show up wearing wearing weird outfits. They don't show up wearing their everyday. So that definitely sucked. I really wanted to see everyone in their everyday because Rapunzel actually showed up here first, it looks like, and she is mad. So I'm not sure what's about to happen. Who showed up in a bear suit? What the heck? Mulan. It was Mulan in the bear suit, by the way. Oh my gosh. What is my Sim self wearing? What are you wearing? Clown behavior, Chloe. Get, why? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? All right. So I think I might be killing Rapunzel. Oh, did she stop? What is this? Crack neck. What the heck? That's more like it, Ariel. Okay. Alice actually showed up in her normal outfit. So that's good. I'm just waiting for... So oh, is she coming to kill someone? <gasps> She's about to kill Ariel. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. What the heck? That was so brutal. I don't think I've ever seen that death. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dang. The brutality. <gasps> what is she doing? Did I just suffocate her with my butt? Excuse me? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Also, I'm sorry I keep going through and changing their clothes. I just want you guys to be able to recognize who they are. So Jasmine and Ariel are dead. Tinkerbell and Pocahontas have arrived. I'd really like it if more people would... <gasps> what is happening? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Moana be crazy. Who is she roasting? Is that Alice or Merida she trying to kill? What the heck? Guys, this is nuts. This is actually nuts. I have literally, like I said, I played with this like one time on my own and I think I had just the same reaction. Like play with fire who? Hillary Duff is quaking. Dang. So the other Sims are serial killers too. It's not just, oh, hey, Alice, what's up? Oh no, she dead. She dead, honey. Who is this? Why is Bell? Everybody comes like dressed all creepy. Why are you like this? Also, I'd like to point out that Tiana is not wearing her Tiana dress. I know this dress looks really white on camera, but it's actually a mint green and her dress was super glitched. So I couldn't use her actual dress, which was really unfortunate. So, oh my gosh. Oh, hey, look, the Grim Reaper finally decided to show up. So Merida's out. So we have, gosh, everyone in there. Oh, wait, what's happening over here? Are we all just in here freaking out? What is happening? I love how my Sim is just like, girl, I'm thirsty. I'm getting some water. Also, I'm holding my knife. <laughs> is Mulan reading? What is she doing? Yeah, so apparently Moana and my Sim self are super murder. Oh my gosh, what's happening? <gasps> Who is that? I didn't invite this person. Oh, they're a cop. Oh my gosh. Well, Tinkerbell is now dead. I think somebody else just died in the kitchen too. <gasps> Meg is dead. <laughs> Who killed Meg? Was that Rapunzel killed her? Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a cop here running around. The cop just ran through that. What is that? What the heck? <gasps> What? Guys, so much is happening that I can't even keep it straight. Why is there a motorcycle here? Why did Esmeralda just get... Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. 
what just happened? More people are dying. <gasps> Who are these people? Why are there cops here? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're taking Moana to jail. <laughs> Did you see them just ascend or like, what was that? Oh my God. They just went through the roof and were like, bye, bye, Felicia. Is this cop going to do it too? Oh my gosh. This is going to happen again. Look straight up. They just leave. So cops are showing up to the party now and they're like, absolutely not. We're taking all of you. Where's my sim self? How come she's not in jail? Is my sim self dead? Did she die? Oh my gosh, he's taking Tiana. Did Tiana kill someone? I didn't even see that happen. What the heck? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Cinderella booty bumping Aurora to death. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's my sim self. Well, Aurora is now dead. So apparently cops show up to the party too. What? This is madness, you guys. I'm so glad that I recorded the second attempt and not the first because the first was for me just to kind of see like what was up. And I'm so glad I went with the second attempt because the first attempt was not this funny. Like this is way funnier. Um, what is this? Crush head with booty? Who am I? Am I trying to kill Pocahontas right now? I think there's too many people in my way. So I guess if they went to jail, like, I'm going to say they probably, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Serial killer status. Chloe has killed three sims so far, which gave her the serial killer trait. Wow. Oh my gosh. And now she's going <gasps> to, she wants to kill Belle next. Oh. Uh, why am I just standing here with a stabby knife in the air? Do you guys see this nonsense? Also, how has the Grim Reaper not taken anyone yet? Also, he's mad at me. He was like, no, get out of here. Could you stop killing Sims? I don't have all day to reap souls. No, fam. Oh my gosh, am I going to kill her? <gasps> oh, Straight up knife to the jugular. Bye, Felicia. Oh my gosh, am I going to kill Cinderella too? This is insane. Literally insane. Yeah, he hasn't even had time to reap all these sims. Like we have two that are... Who's that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Who did... Did she just shoot her sister? <gasps> Elsa just killed Anna. She killed her sister. Dang, and she's like, whatever. Cold never bothered me anyway. But look at that maniacal face. Good gracious. She just killed her sister. I love how Mulan has just been here, like, carrying a book around. Like, she's just like, girl, I just came to the party to read. Also, like, Mulan, who comes to a party to read? This is the problem with you. I'm just going to be real. So I think my sim wants to kill Cinderella, but for some reason, like, can't. Oh, my gosh. Cinderella. Oh. Yeah, that's happening again. I love how that has been my sim's attack of choice. I've just killed everyone with my butt. Like, I'd like to point out to you guys, in real life, I don't have a butt. Like, I do. Obviously, everybody has a butt. But, like... I don't like that is like the least voluptuous part of my body. Like I got boobs for days IRL and that would definitely suffocate someone a lot faster. I have no backside. So it's mind boggling to me that my Sims number one thing. And I even made her have like no butt. Like, do you guys see that? She got a flat booty, like purposefully made her that way. <laughs> I love how Mulan is like, now you're shocked girl. Also, Elsa, are you drunk? You just chilling? So we have six hours left. Oh, <gasps> goodbye, Mulan. <laughs> Dang. 
I love how every time my sim comes out here and is like, oh, yeah. All right. Elsa's just casually in the counter. No big deal. NBD. Are you out here to get more water? Beaches are thirsty, okay? Is everybody dead? I love how this little, like, boy out here, Alexander Goth, is just, like, chilling. There's dead bodies everywhere. So are we the final two standing? Did everybody else die? Is anybody upstairs? Nobody came upstairs. Literally, we have... I think everyone else died. I think the only two Sims... Call over partners in crime. Do Is Elsa my partner in crime? As everyone, I'm pretty sure. The only two that are left are me and Elsa. So Elsa's the champion. This is what a champion looks like, friends. The face of a champion. <laughs> I don't really know what happens if you win the event because it's taking too long to catch up with itself. And 18 haven't died. In order for them all to die, Elsa would have to die too, which I guess I could just kill her. Right? Like, I mean, why not? We know that she won, but I'm curious if all 18 of them die, what happens? So, oh, you know what? They didn't all die, though. The cops also came. Remember? So Tiana didn't die. And I don't think Rapunzel died. And I'm not sure. Wait, what is this? Oh, she is going to shoot her. Girl, stop reading. She was going to shoot her anyway. I didn't make her do that. I just wanted to wake her up. So apparently if you go to sleep, that saves you somehow. Where are you going? Are you going to shoot her from across the house? Oh my gosh. Can you shoot Sims through the house? We about to find out. Yep, you sure can. Well, <laughs> dang. Okay, so literally, I don't know who else died, if that's the case. Because some Sims went off to prison or jail, whatever. I don't know if they come back. Like, my Sim, in the first time I tried to do this, went to jail. And I was able to just exit that out and she came back. But because those Sims aren't under my control, I don't know if they come back. So that's interesting. <laughs> Three hours and 37 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this and I'll meet you guys back when the event is over. So it just ended and it literally just said that the event was unsuccessful and that was all that happened. So I don't really know how to make it any more successful. Like I don't know what I could have done. Oh, Elsa's body's still in the other room. I don't know what I could have done unless I was like actively going out of my way to try and make it successful, which I didn't. So I'm not really sure what I could have done differently here. But I would say if I had any complaints about the mod, it's just the clothing. I wish that the Sims would show up dressed like themselves. Like maybe there's a reason for that. Or maybe I didn't go through and change their clothes where I should have or something. But that would have been nice if you could have if we could have it locked on certain clothes, um, if that's even an option. And I'm not sure what I could have done to like, I guess I could have played a little bit more actively instead of just letting my sim run rampant. But in my eyes, Elsa was the winner because she also didn't go to jail, even though I killed her. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this mod now. And I'll tell you how you can get it in your game, what you can do, etc, etc, etc. Okay, guys, so this is Kawaii Stacy's uh, website where you can actually download the survivor house mod. And I just wanted to show this to you guys and just kind of give her a little bit of a shout out because she does so many amazing mods in the community. She is the creator of like slice of life. There's a new K-pop mod, I believe out that she's done. Um, she does a lot of amazing stuff for this community. So I just wanted to shout her out as well as sacrificial, which we'll talk about in a second, but basically on this page i will link this down below where you guys can get it and this is the survivor house mod the mod was inspired by x mira mira which if you guys didn't know mira mira actually does a lot of survivor house i believe that she streams a lot of it so you guys should definitely check her out and the mod was also made for it's me troy 
And uh, basically, in order for this mod to work, you do need to have the Extreme Violence mod that was created by Sacrificial. And if you guys are watching this video the day it goes up, it's actually Sacrificial's birthday today. So make sure that you tell Sacrificial happy birthday on Twitter. And um, uh, yeah, you will you will need both mods for this to work. So both Sacrificial and Stacy, they're amazing creators. Check both of them out. I will link both down below the Extreme Violence mod as well as this one. And uh, basically, it just says that some death, death interactions that are new to the Extreme Violence mod will be added to this mod in the future update. I know for sure shooting Sims counts as on goal events your sims will be put inside of a house with possible serial killers and will get paid if they survive which means you don't have to kill anyone just survive even the npcs will get paid for surviving if they survive of course keep in mind that sims can die from this event so make sure you use a separate save file or sim if you don't want to risk yours dying you can also make two hundred and fifty thousand for each completing missions how to start plan an event game modes so apparently you can auto fill and you can um fill them yourself so you could put this on auto fill and just have like random townies and stuff show up which i think would be kind of funny and we also have can't go home the reaper gets lazy so if you want to speed up the process then reset the dead sims which i did do and it was conflicting for me like that didn't change anything so i'm not really sure what i could have done differently there but i still think this was a really entertaining thing to try out um now, the other thing I want to mention is I believe both Sacrificial and Kawaii Stacy have Patreons. So um, to get early access to their mods, you actually can go and become patrons. I am a Kawaii Stacy patron. I would like to become a patron of Sacrificial in the future. So um, this is not like sponsored by either of them. I just want you guys to please support mod creator creators. They do so much for our community. So um, you can also become a patron and that actually gives you access early to um it actually gives you early access to mods and things which is really cool so um that's just something that i feel like if you guys wanted to you definitely could get it and it's just nice you know so if you guys need any help installing mods or trying to figure that out i actually have videos that i will link down below for you guys one is for pc and one is for mac um, unfortunately the mac video i can't do an updated one because i don't own a mac anymore i'm on pc but i know that video still has helped a lot of people even to this day i get comments on that video so i will link both the mac and pc how to install custom content tutorials down below and i hope you guys will give this mod a try and if you do let me know what happens let me know if you want to see more of this in the future and like what kinds of things you would want to see because i thought like marvel would be really funny or doing like mickey mouse characters or doing disney princes or princes and princesses like couples edition it would be really cool if there was a mod where you could go in like as a couple like it's couples against other couples like could you imagine Disney couples like f murdering all the other ones? I think that would be hilarious. Anyways, um, that is what I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think of the mod down below and I will see you guys in a future video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I am at coffeeyt and over on Twitch where I stream every Sunday night for you guys and also my podcast Twin Flames. It's available on 10 different platforms anywhere you listen to podcasts. It's all about shifting the perspective, astrology, spirituality, psychology, depth psychology specifically. It's me and my twin flame discussing all of these things and it's a really good time so definitely make sure you check it out and again all those links are going to be down below for you so I will see you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye you guys! Thank you.